Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new video. So, in the Warhammer 40,000, there are a lot of great characters uh, in the novels, in the background. There is a lot of great characters, and some of them have miniatures, and we can collect them and paint, assemble, and put them in our armies if we want. So, here I'm going to talk about uh, from my collection. Okay, this is going to be from my collection. What are the top five characters that I, uh, I think I like the most by background, by uh, miniature and so on but it's, it's going to be mainly background because this is, I'm focused on background, okay? so here are the top five characters that I like by background that are in my collection so, and we start with these two um, ones that are one of the, yeah, the newest miniatures that I have in my collection so this Ephrael, Demonforge and uh, K Kiganil, okay? This is a, okay, it's not a character, but they have to go together. I, yeah, I, I, I like a little bit the miniature, I like a lot the, the Harlequin when I saw them for the first time. And then when I read, uh, I read the history, I was not aware of the demo forge of Ephraim. I really like a lot the background, so it's really a dark background. It's a very strange Sister of Battle. I love Sister of Battle, but I think this lady is really a unique one, okay? So I think it's quite a unique story, very nicely built, and I think it's quite, uh, yeah... It then it go much very well with all these darkness and dark grim of the Warhammer 40,000. So I will say, I I, I like a lot uh, the Celestine. Uh, I like a lot uh, other characters. But I will say, if I have to choose one sister of battle that is out of the box, that is really 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 strange. So I will say, Ephrael is unique, right? Is unique in the background. So even Celestine is not that unique, right? Because you have the Saint Sabbath, so, uh, but Ephraim is unique, uh, all, all his uh, sisters uh, died to try to save her, so she's really, and she has a, a special power, so thanks to that, it's in this area between, uh, in the warp and in the real life, so I think it's, it's really a great miniature, and then uh, that on top he goes with an old cast um, Harlequin that is uh, following her, it's, it's, really, uh, it's really nice and unique, so I think the background and the uniqueness is what makes her to be the five in this top five, okay? So the next ones are, are characters that I have more uh, appreciation. But here you can see a 360 of these miniatures. So you can appreciate the paint job, uh, the black armor of the um, uh, martyred ladies. And then the, for the Kiganil I decide to go for my own colors, uh, mixing these purples, pinks and greens. Right, so really happy how they look like. I think they are great miniatures, and I really enjoy them in the game. In the game, they are also good. But here, I, I will really focus more on the appearance, and as well on the background. Okay, so this is more linked to background. So let's go to the next one, and here we have the next one. This is not a, a, a name character. Okay, this is going to be the only one that is not name character in this background. But I really like a lot the background of the uh, solitaires. I think they are. Uh, unique in the in the Harlequin, this uh, that they play the role of Slanage inside of their performances and and all this yeah dedication to be an assassin. So these are the assassin of the uh, uh, the assassin version of the Elder. I, I wanted to paint him quite dark uh, and just put uh, very little color on one of his legs and and on this on one of his um, shoulders. I would say one of these. Uh, close on the top, okay? So I wanted to keep him dark, quite minimalist, compared to the rest of the Harlequins that are more colorful, they have more yellows, more other colors. Uh, I still use some of the colors I use for um, my own mask, but to be a, a slightly different, right? To, to make him look like an assassin. He's goes in dark, he's this Lanish player, so he's playing this Lanish role in the performances of the... And, and let me show a little bit more how the mask looks like, okay? So, really, this is having my favorite elder of all times. I, I, I really love the miniature, I think it's a great miniature, and uh, I like a lot this character. So, you can see, this is the only one that is not a special character. Let's go to the next one. And the next one is, as well, is um, Ariman. I think Ariman 
since I, I re um, also after reading uh, Bosper um, Borns and uh, some Preheresy histories, I think it's one of the my favorite characters from the from from the chaos, right? I like I would like to have Alfarius, Alfarius maybe will be my my preferred one, but I think Ariman also um that is in fight. I think he was more even more conscious of the situation than than even Magnus, right? He realized that uh, yeah that they were in a very bad shape and he's the one that really reacts faster. Is the one that almost uh, yeah at the end Magnus saved the day to the, to the thousand sons, uh, giving them opportunity to escape. But I think Ariman is really it was really dedicated to his own legion uh, and also this ambitious and all, all these achievements he has. I think he's the greatest sorcerer. I think he can compete even with Elbert Ulfman. So it's really really uh, one of the characters I really love. And here you can see I also enjoy a lot painting him. Uh, uh, I wanted to put him this type of decoration on the cape. I think I hope you can appreciate this on the camera. So, yeah, it's a miniature that I really like a painting. I think it's a great miniature. I like these bright colors to put him bright colors. Uh, he's not scared of being. Uh, he's, he has to be arrogant. He has a lot of knowledge. He's one of the most power, powerful psychers, uh, competing with even with the. With the demon princes and competing with the with the primarchs in, in and psychic abilities, of course, he's not the level of Magnus, but I think for a, a, a sorcerer, he yeah, what else you can achieve as a, a like Ariman has not achieved. Okay, so I think it's one I really like as well the background of Ariman. Let's go to the next one, and the next one is the I, I wanted to choose another Empire miniature. Okay, and this is. Um, Lord Dvaigo, Car uh, Cargo Dvaigo, okay? So, this guy, it's invincible, in principle, right? And this guy is a guy that is able to go to demon uh, walls, kill demons uh, like if there is no tomorrow, and survive to all this mayhem. So, I would love to see more of him in the future. Uh, he's uh, a unique, uh, strong <laughs> character. I don't know if at the end of time there was there were even uh, histories that maybe they were, that he was in uh, Warhammer Fantasy and Times, I think it was not him, maybe it was another thing, but yeah, I, I think this guy is really, uh, it's really uh, the champion of the champions of the champions, right? There is not a stronger warrior uh, than, than him uh, in, the, in the universe of Warhammer 40,000. I don't think there is any Space Marine that can equal him, there is not any, and I think he will be able to even to fight um, uh, Primarchs. So he is really, uh, according to the background, then on the on the fight on the game can be different. But I also like a lot the miniature. Uh, I, I, this is this is the metal version of the miniature. So if you have the fine cast, I will wait until they they release a plastic a new plastic kit. But if you manage to find the metal one, I think the metal one it's quite nice and the, uh, the quality. So this was designed for metal, okay, not for fine cast. So you can see. Of course, there is not like the plastic we have today, but overall, a great miniature uh, and a great. Um, I think this is the champions of the champions. This is why I put him here. It's a little bit more linear than the, all the others. I like more sometimes um, characters that have more of a dark side, and now you see why the next one for me is the my favorite character in 40,000, and is Cypher. Okay, I think Cypher is really a strange character. I hope they put more background on him and we can know more about what is Cypher. But it's, it's, it's really uh, this character that he he's um, double, triple, fourth Argent, uh, Argent, right? I don't know how to, uh, I don't know if the, uh, at the end of the background if he will, uh, if he's playing for the, or working for the Ring Gods or he's working for the, for the Imperium. Really, being able to escape from a prison in Terra, it's unique, right? I think he's he's really a, a very enigmatic character, and it's what I like from him. Uh, he is helping Gilliman, okay? He managed to help Gilliman, where Gilliman was really in a very bad shape, uh, trapped by by um, by the Uron, right? Uh, uh, but 
yeah, I, I like a lot. And the miniature is really nice. The last miniature, I, I wanted to paint it more like in dirty colors, like if he's really in the battle. Uh, he will not care to make uh, too much on, on his appearance, I guess. He wants to pass, and I think he wants not. He wants to be discreet, right? He does not want to show off that he is one of the strongest warriors in the galaxy, right? Because he, a cipher on top is it should be one of the strongest space marines in the galaxy. He uh, tries to go with this discreet look, of course, with the K, trying to hide his armor, trying to hide himself, and then just uh, working from the shadows, right? And I think I like a lot this guy. So. Uh, yeah, it looks like an Alpha Legion type of um, Space Marine, but at the end he is a Dark Angel. And I want to see more in the future what he can bring to the background. I think he can be a very interesting character for the evolution of the background uh, of, uh, of Warhammer 40,000. So these are the my top 5 characters, right? So let me put them together here uh, in one in the camera. So, and then you choose which one is, are your favorite characters? What is your favorite character in your collect in from forty thousand that you have painted and collected uh, as well? Okay, so these are of course there are other characters that I also like from the background. I just want to put the ones that I really ha on top. I have miniatures and I really like them for what they represent on Warhammer forty thousand. So that zoom out and here we have all the characters together. So. Please give a like if you have liked this video. Let me know what do you think about my selection. Let me know if one of these is one of your favorite characters as well. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. A little bit of showcase, a little bit of explanation, and a little bit of top 5 characters. And if you like this type of top 5 videos, I can do more. Uh, let me know what what will you like to know more and in the comments below. And I can make the video for you. I would like to do once uh, from time to time. So, one from time to time. So, I hope you have enjoyed. As usual, thanks a lot for watching. Please like if you uh, if you have liked this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And you can also support this channel. Uh, you can see the link below the video. So, I, that's all for now. As usual, thanks a lot for watching. And see you again later. Bye.